Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Factorio with Dr. Barnabas. Today, we're going to be continuing from where we left off last, last episode. I just got a message. I am kind of crap about that. I literally just got rid of my messages to make sure that that didn't happen. God damn it. Speaking of uh, my phone, I need to set a timer to make sure that I don't go way over on this video like I did last time. Although most people probably enjoyed the 30 minute video, uh, I won't be because it'll take a while to render. There we go. Time has started. As you can see, I, I spent some time between episodes. Um, I've planned this out, by the way. I've cleared out... Um, you might remember last, uh, last episode, there was a forest here. Not anymore. I chopped it all down. I threw it all in here. And I've been using that as fuel. There's a little bit of coal there as a backup. Uh, but yeah, I cut down an entire forest and turned it into fuel. Um, I am now going to be sort of trying to take some territory because we we need we need to sort of wall off the area. I don't want to get attacked. Uh, between episodes as well, after saying there isn't any biters, I'm surprised I haven't found any yet. I went investigating down here, and as you'll see, there's a base. Don't want to go close, because I don't want to grab their attention. But, yeah. Yeah, we're not alone anymore. Which is always lovely and fun. Um, I also sent some, I also spent some time setting out the taskbar. So things are locked into positions. I've got a lot of walls, basically. I've basically just built up resources. And made stuff we're going to need for this episode. So, we're going to start walling stuff up stuff off now. Uh, I'm going to make that one further up just so we don't have to go around the lake. So we definitely can't get past that. Uh, just to be extra safe, I'm going to make that double thickness. And then, again, crafted air earlier. But, uh, being me, I decided that I wouldn't need ammo, so I left all the ammo. Uh, which, again, I increase the amount it can make. So, yeah. I'm just going to grab all of it and then make it so they can't put any in there. Because I don't want to build up too much. So, I'm going to just put about... Uh, how much did I have? I have 100 turrets. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Die! Die! Shit. Well, they notice we're here now. Um, let's just put like 50 in each. That's probably not how much I meant to put in them, but you know, it's it's okay. I think I did more damage to my own walls there than they did. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, so we're basically just going to want to wall off an area and call it our own. Uh, we've now sort of attracted the wildlife as well, which I don't think we had before. So that's going to make things even more fun. Now, I haven't got laser turrets at the moment, so these are going to need ammo. And I'm basically just going to have to rely on remembering to go and fill them up. I think that's probably enough. I'll just go straight up from that point. There we go. Uh, I'm going to duplicate the wall. Uh, I have enough walls to do this. I literally have left the game running for quite a while, building up walls and materials and things. Uh, we are going to put like a turret here, 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 here. I'm going to have to be sort of conservative with turrets because I don't have that many of them. Uh, I don't really have that much ammo either. I should probably go and make it auto craft some more. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and set it to auto craft some more ammo. But basically, I'm just gonna wall off the biggest area I possibly can, and see how it goes. Uh, which I think will be fun. I don't think they can get through there, which will be all right. Um, I'm just gonna make it make the same amount of ammo again. So if I just block it there, then that should just make a bunch of ammo. Uh, quickly, I'm also going to grab about 50 of that and make myself that heavy armor. Uh, I've been making some steel as well, as you can probably guess. 
There we go. So we've got some heavy armor now. Heavy armor on now. Uh, I'm going to just wall straight across. I've cleared the trees wherever I want to put walls, just so we don't have to uh, spend time clearing out trees on our escapade of wall putting down. See, I'm hoping I've got enough turrets, and that the amount of turrets I'm putting down is going to be enough. I really don't think it's going to be. And I don't think I have enough ammo to do 50 per turret. Uh, no, I have nowhere near enough. I have nowhere near enough ammo for this. Um, yeah, that's not good. Most areas should be okay. Like, this area I don't think needs a gun. Needs needs the uh, whole lot of turrets straight away. But this is, this is... This requires some intense concentration to get this diagonal. Because I'm having to remember to get left up, 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 up, left. Can't place one on top of me. I should probably make it auto craft some more walls as well, because I think I've grossly underestimated the amount I'm actually going to need. No, it's not right. Uh, almost there. Come on, walls. It's getting dark in my room and in the game. That's kind of scary. Now, I don't think I'm going to double up every single wall. This one should be okay for a while. I might double up this little bit here, though. Just the, just the corner. And then we'll double up the rest later. Uh, and then I'm just going to be conservative with the turrets. I'm going to have, like one every now and again and I'm not gonna put as much as ammo in these as much ammo in these ones because I don't think these are gonna get attacked as often so I'm gonna put like five in each one here we go let's put five in that one five in that one five in that one Five in that one. Five in that. Nope. Five in that. And five in that. Oh, lovely. Uh, I'm going to run and grab some more walls. I believe I probably have enough turrets. I don't think I have enough ammo at all. Um, which ammo have I got? I've got like 113. I'll leave that to autocraft. This we're going to get to later. This is going to be the new smelting setup. Uh, we're going to wall off this bit next. Uh, again, I think I've grossly underestimated how many walls I'm actually going to need for this job. Um, I'm going to double up this one. Uh, just make sure definitely nothing can get through. And then I'm just going to place a turret every now and again. That many should be okay. Uh, I'll put like... What the hell? Why is this static building up in my microphone? What the feck? Whoa, Jesus. I'm sorry about that. What is up with that sound? Um, did that? Yeah, I think that fixed it. Uh, yeah, my microphone keeps doing that. I think the microphone cable is touching something. Like the monitor cable or the, one of the power cables or something. And it keeps having that very strange effect. Go straight through that. I don't really make sure I definitely haven't missed any walls all the way to the other side. I'll double that one up later. Uh, I'm going to put some turrets on it later as well. Uh, I wanted a little bit over here. I'm going to clear out these trees later. Um, where did I want it from? I wanted it like from here across and then th this is the one of the ones that I'm probably gonna forget about so I'm just gonna double it up now just so I don't forget I am gonna want to cut down some trees uh, I downloaded an update for the game and everything seems to be running faster now I don't know if it's just me or if you can see this but everything just seems to be running faster does it seem like that it does seem, it seems like that to me. Uh, you guys comment below, because I'm kind of confused. 
but it seems like the game, because the frame rate is a bit better, it just seems like the game's running at, like, a way better frame rate. It's weird. Well, not frame rate. It just seems like the game's running way better. Strange. I can't really explain it. All right, so I'm going to go straight up with the wall. Make sure there's definitely nothing missing. Uh, another one that I'm going to forget about, probably. So I'm just, just going to shore it up now. I did not want to do that. Uh, I'm going to put quite a few turrets over here. Because I built 100 and I've not even used 50 yet. I think I grossly overestimated how many... Um, I grossly overestimated how many turrets I'd need. And underestimated how much ammo I'd need. But at least we've got like, what? 50 extra turrets? <laughs> I don't think we need 50 extra turrets. I mean, eventually, when we get laser turrets, I'm just going to like, fill the wall with them. And we're going to have more than you can even count to kill these biter bastards. Yeah, seriously underestimated how much ammo I'd need. Um... Hmm, I'm thinking I've got quite a few walls left. I might just double up everything whilst I'm at it. No. Is that tripled? Yeah, it is. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, I kind of missed the mouse slightly and just tripled up the walls. Uh, internet's still broken, by the way, so this is in the backlog. Um, I said last episode, I think, or the episode before, that I was building up a backlog of videos because my internet wasn't working correctly. And we are still in that backlog because my internet still isn't working correctly. Whoop whoop. Uh, I'm going to be ordering something to fix it soon. Keep saying that, but keep forgetting, you know basically the cycle of or wanting to order something but just forgetting. That's definitely as far as that can go across. Wall everything! Woo! There we go. Um, I'm just going to put like too many turrets down here. Um, I'm going to put like one there. One there. Uh, that Copper's sort of in the way, but we'll sort that. No, that one needs to be sort of a bit closer. Now, I want sort of this bit to be protected a little bit more because the main thing that sort of attracts the biters and the spitters in this game is the. Uh, what's it? The steam engines. And guess where the steam engines are going to be? They're going to be right here, up in this bit. Uh, I have some ammo here for a gun that I'm not really using, so I'm just going to use that until I run out. I do need to start auto-crafting more things, but once I've got this wall complete and mainly gunned up, or mostly gunned up at least, uh, we're going to be working on some serious, serious... Or processing. And then we're going to be, uh, you know, just working on some shit. It's going to be fun. We're going to have, like, massive bank of stuff up there. It's going to be fun. I think you guys will enjoy this. Uh, I'm just going to grab as much ammo as it's made, which is quite a lot, which is good because we need lots of ammo. That's still, make st that's still made stone. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put... 12 in that one. That can have 12, because why not? Because why not? I'm from the Ministry of Why Not. Oh, it's made 222, not 122, because I also have 100 in my gun. Uh, I don't remember if I had this gun at the end of last episode. I think I did. I didn't do really do much between episodes. I planned out a few things, worked out a few things, um... But I didn't really do much in terms of progress. No. There we go. So that's all the guns sort of gunned up. 
Uh, now we're going to want to work on the stuff. So, yeah, I work, I, well, I didn't work out. Someone else worked out, and I have used the sort of combination of power. So, in order to get the best out of your power, you sort of need quite a lot of stuff, basically. Um, I'm going to get one offshore pump, and I'm going to do this in a way that I can do two sort of close to each other. So, if I get this in a place that it will fit... Will it fit there-ish? No. It'll fit there. Um, I wanted to get another one, just so I know where it'll go. There. Right, so if I was to grab myself some uh, pipes, there we go. I'll just grab like 10 pipes, 5 pipe to grounds. Um, where did they go? Oh, I used the pipes I made to paint the pipe to ground, obviously. That's the logic. So I'm going to want pipe, pipe. Uh, I'm going to want to make like at least one steam engine. And then I'm going to make one, two. One, two, three, four. Four boilers. No, I should have made fourteen. There we go. Fourteen. That's the one. That's the amount I wanted. Um. And two, three, four. Is that is that right? Have I made four of those? I'm made five, which is even better. Uh, what we're gonna want is we're gonna want these boilers. Sort of on here. Um, I'm going to start the... How big is the steam engine, actually? I want more pipe as well, because I used it all. Uh, how, much, how big is the steam engine? Let's have a look. The steam engine is yay big. So if I wanted to have the... So I'll just leave that there as a reference. If I wanted to have it start... Here... Uh, I would need to run them across. Let's get rid of that. Like so. Uh, I do need more inserters, uh, but we'll sort that out soon. I'm going to use a piped ground to connect them. So these should not now all have water in. It just needs heating up. And then we're going to run down here, going do 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 do, and that's how many steam engines can be powered by these boilers. So now I'm just going to use a little bit of this to sort of plan out where the coal's going to go. Uh, I might actually want to have like a yeah, I do. I want to have like a little bit of a gap between them. I want another pipe to ground with a gap. So, like, if I just did, like, a, a max pipe to ground between... Maybe, like, a three gap. One, two, three. Is that enough? I think that's enough. And then just repeat. Now, with the steam generation, or hot water generation... You don't really get too much of a penalty for having it longer or having pipes in between because the water never cools down. All you really want is the temperature. The more temperature you have, the more performance you'll get out of your steam engines. Um, so yeah, I want that facing the other way. Going all the way down like so. And coming up like that. And then I need to find a way of getting coal into it. And I think I might just be ferrying it for a little bit until I can build a belt. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use some of these inserters because it'll be easier. And we're going to leave it at that for the moment. Uh, I'm going to use some of my ridiculous amount of power poles to connect all this. So I'm probably going to need like one for each of these. Are they all connected? Yep. Uh, I'm going to want to bring that power across. Does that connect? Yes, it does. Nice. 
right? And if I connected that there, then all I would need is a little bit of a quick, like a kickstart to get it going. Maybe just some raw wood. There we go. So that'll get it going. Um, if I needed... See, I learned you can press F5. No, that's not it. Shift space. If I needed one, two spaces, that's fine. That's fine. Right, that's all I need to know. Um, I'm going to want a... Probably a steel chest. So I'm going to run and get a steel chest and a shit ton of coal. Uh, the shit ton of coal I'm going to get courtesy of this. And I need a little bit of steel for that chest, don't I? I need like... I'm just going to grab a stack. Make one of these. And I'm literally just going to clear out this thing. And we're going to go and put this there. And this is going to be fueling everything. Uh, I do want a inserter for that. A fast one, preferably. Shit ton of coal. And power pole. And that's now going to fuel all of them. So that will heat up the water, and we will slowly begin to get more performance as we go down the line. There we go. Wonderful. Step one done. Step two. Uh, go and get more materials and start on this. Uh, so I'm going to want to sort of get some mines going. And I kind of want to do this in a little bit of an efficient way. Um... So say if I was to do that and that for there, and then just a little bit of copper for the moment, uh, because we don't really need, no, that's the wrong way. We don't really need too much copper at the start of the game. You just need enough. There we go. Uh, we're going to use some transport belts. And they're going to come down here. All the way to this thing. Which is then going to be split. Oh, that needs to be merged with some coal. I do need to bring coal up here somehow. Which I'm probably going to need to increase the number of coal things. Uh, I'm going to be dismantling this soon. But for the moment... I'm just going to add a splitter. I'm also going to grab some some iron and some copper. Actually, I have enough copper. Uh, I'm going to grab a splitter and just split this here. And then use that. Which is more or less bang on, actually. In fact, if I moved it like one space further up, it probably would be about bang on. I'm going to make a shit ton of transport belts because we're going to need them. And there we go. So that'll fill one side of the belt. And over here, we're going to want to do a similar thing. Which is we're going to build a belt. We're going to go sort of all the way across. Not connect them, though. No, 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 no. We are going to just run them parallel. Like that. Then this one is going to need to go through here. So that's kind of not good. They're on the opposite sides to what they should be. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to bring it... I'm going to delete all this. Which should have, I really should have had some more insight. I'm just thinking, I'm kind of wasting time here. I should probably set something going. Toolbar. Toolbar looks useful. In fact, not looks useful. Toolbar is useful. I was sort of waiting for toolbar. Uh, no, so I want it to be that way. And then I'm going to have that... Like that, that, and we're going to have another splitter, which I don't have. Uh, I prepared most things earlier. Not all, but most. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm going to bring it across one and up. And then that should split onto one half of that belt. Lovely. So now the next bit is we are going to get these belts onto these belts. There we go. 
Uh, we want the similar thing here. Probably going to want to delete that. It's fun just riding belts. At one point, whilst I was uh, building up some resources and stuff, I literally just rode belts around in my factory. Which was quite fun, actually. Uh, right, so we're going to want to connect these up to the power. And start seeing how they do. Um, I'm going to want to connect that. That to the power. And I'm going to want to not try to run through something solid. Go down here. Putting down some power poles. There we go. This should more than do us for the for a while. Um, it's going to build up slowly, but as soon as we get all the furnaces going, we're not really going to have that much of a surplus. I think we're going to need quite a few more. Um, but you know what? It's going to be okay. I'm surprised this is sort of managing, to be honest. So I wanted a row of... How much of a gap is there? There's just a one gap, isn't there? I wanted two rows of four, I believe. I don't really know. Yes, yeah, so two rows of four, I think. Except I have two extra. Two, three, four, five. It's four, eight, six, that's sixteen. Isn't it? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Yeah, so where's the rest of the... Oh, do they get used in this crafting? Yes, they do. Right, so I did make a lot more, but I used them. Right, that makes sense. So, yeah, I'll talk you through this as I'm building it. So, we are actually over time, I've just noticed. Um, but, you know, it's okay. I can talk through this quickly as I'm building it. Um, which would have worked if I didn't run out of transport belts. So, basically, I'll just talk through it and then we'll end the episode. We have the two input belts, which are carrying the ore to be smelted copper and iron, and fuel. Uh, they'll eventually just carry iron as soon as we get electric furnaces, because this setup is built so we can delete this belt and fit the 3x3 three three electric furnace in here, no problems. Uh, hence why there's massive gaps, because I've made it so we can fit the electric furnaces in further down the line. Um, we have an inserter taking fuel and things to be smelted in, and then we have this output line. And yeah, that's basically... That's basically the rundown. I didn't really know why I thought that would take longer. Uh, but yeah, I am going to very, 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 very quickly. We went over a lot last time. So we may as well just go over a lot this time. I might just make these episodes half an hour long. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. If these videos, if you would like these videos to be half an hour long, comment below and say you want them to be half an hour long. If you don't really give a toss and you're not sure why you're on this channel, then still comment below and tell me what you think. <laughs> uh, let's put all of this in. I just want to at least see it working because I've been waiting to do this for like a day. Um, and then that needs to continue just a little bit. No, that went one too far. There we go. If I just throw, like, that and that in there. Yeah, so this will be the output belt for the copper. This will be the output belt for the iron. And, yeah. That is the basic smelting finished. This eventually, hopefully, will go the whole way down there. And, yeah, that would be fun. We really need about double the iron than we do the copper. So I might make a few more furnaces, because I had had enough for that. But, obviously got rid of them when I built the big power thing up there. And speaking of the big power thing up there, it might be a nice idea to connect it, because it looks like we're out of power. So I'm just going to sort of make this long line here. Try and connect that up. Is that all connected? No, it is not. That should connect. There we go. Wonderful. So that's all connected, and then if I just put one there, all of that should come on. And then I just need a power pole there, power pole there, power pole there, 
powerful there, powerful there, powerful there, powerful there, and powerful there. So there we go. We are making smelted things a hell of a lot quicker than we were before. And we're also doing it within the episode time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode we're going to be expanding the amount of iron we're using, expanding the amount of copper we're using. We're going to be re recreating this but this way on a lot longer belt. And it's going to be pretty awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you watch next time. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.